Hello YouTube, it is Damien. It is the Rise of a Nation. It is episode 166. Today we have a familiar foe, the old lady Juventus over in Italy before we play him in Denmark where anything is possible. It's a side that we've played and we've beaten in our five last appearances. It's a side that we've knocked out in the first knockout stage of the Champions League twice. A side that we've knocked out of Europe in the Europa League. It is a team that we know how to beat, but it's a team that we know is quality and is the best in Italy. It's a tie that you've seen plenty of times before. Unlike what we do against Barcelona, we always lose. We always seem to beat Juve. We've played against Suma many, many times before. One of the best midfielders in world football. They've always been a bit better. Juve having their worst year in a very long time. They currently sit fourth, a long way off the pace, and have lost seven games this season. This is one of the Juve sides I look at and go, oh, it's not the greatest team that they have. They just beat Bologna 4 0, but they just lost to Arsenal, but got through on away goals after beating Arsenal. Um, after beating Arsenal 1 0 in the first leg. Uh, they've lost to Genoa recently as well, Fiorentina, but they have got wins over Parma, Bologna, like I mentioned, and a 2 2 plucky win against Inter. Something tells me that because of playing 4-2-3-1, I expect Juve to match up really well against us. We've beat them in the 4-4-2, we've beat them in the 4-3-3, but with the form that we're in and the fact we have not lost in the 4-2-3-1, I find it very, very, very hard to go and play the 4-4-2 or the 4-3-3 defend in this game. In terms of players for us, we have a big out. Lewis Ibe, injured. We always caught one injury before the quarterfinal. Always seems to mainly be Carlos. Ibe this year is the one in the training injury the day before the last game we played against AAB, which we did fully rotate in. Yepi, by the way, has been out. Six-month injury, hip injury. We would miss the final if we were to get there, which is a bit annoying for me. Ronald, of course, is suspended. But for Juve, Odyssey, the one of the best fullbacks in world football, was out suspended as well. And that's a good thing for us. It's an all-Spanish affair on the other side as Barcelona play Valencia. But it's all about what we are going to do today. First things first, Ravel's going to come in here and Molgaard will make it to the bench as the backup sub for the defensive, the defensive-minded sub. For me, though, I'm doing that and I'm doing that. Reasons why. Jacob, better than Dino. Great player, set for the big stage. Secondly, Dino has a history of being sent off in the Champions League in big moments at big times. With a lack of speed and their quick midfield, I don't want to risk it. Lastly, Pedro's form has been unreal. The guy knows how to score goals. And if we can go out here today and we can find ourselves an away goal, I back us in in Denmark because anything is possible. These boys, when they play well and everything clicks, are one of the best teams in the world. But we also know in this 4 2 3 1, we know how to get FM'd a lot. And hopefully today isn't that day. Your team to hopefully try and make the first ever semi final in SFB history in the Champions League is. A bad bloom, Shane, Carlos, and Ravel. It's Jacob, and it is Pedro Crescito. Carlos, Nilsson, Tobias, and the baller. It is a massive, massive game. The old lady in Italy, never easy, but we've been here. We've done it plenty of times before. We are actually favourites for this quarterfinal. That's a lot better than where we have been. We've been playing Barcelona. For me, this game's going to be one or lost on our own boot. I feel like we'll create chances, we'll have moments. It's up to me what we do. Names that we know. Navajo at the back, and Bok at the back. Dorado's a world-class goalkeeper. We know Petkovic, we know um, Yegor, we know Suma. This is a very, 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 very good side. I really hope we go out here and we really will do the job. We are going to go out there and put in our pressing triggers, because that's what we do. And hopefully, we will be okay. Wando starting from the start, which is which is good for them. Didn't start for the last time out as well. Going to go and press both centre-backs as well. And hopefully, we will be okay. We're also going to go and show both guys onto their right foot as well as what we do in the system. We know all about Dorado, world-class keeper. We know all about it. Dennis Mbok, know all about him too. He's getting a bit older now, though, the 35-year-old, but still very good. Nevaeh at 31, still also getting a little bit older, but pretty decent. Anderson at 30. They're all getting towards that age where they're getting a little bit older. Wando's still one of the best wingers in world football at 33. Rodrigo Ortiz is in the middle and absolutely elite. We know about Suma. We know about Yegor, two world-class players. 
Rigoni in the middle, very experienced Italian, very good technician, maybe not at his best anymore. Petkovic is one of the better wingers around, and we know about Marco and how good he is. Arini is the backup goalkeeper. Ronnie on the bench as well was not too bad. Dennis Ismail is not the Australian, which is fine, uh, but still very good. Mangan is pretty decent too, the wonder kid. Johan at 34, she's getting a little bit older, but still a great guy to have off the bench. Felicio Latiz, not the greatest, and Silvio is pretty decent, but not the greatest either. I feel like pound for pound, we're very similar. And I feel like on the bench, we're very similar. This game is going to be won or lost in our own boot. If we go out here, we dominate, we play our football, we keep it defensively solid, we're good enough to beat Juve over two legs. We've seen it. But I also know we have to be wary. With their world-class players, if they get going, they could put us out of this. Berger predicts a 2-0 win. I'm predicting that this game finishes one all and that we win in Denmark. Any other score prediction? The Welpen. And away we go. First shot was asked. That's good, but it's positive. For me, it's about possession of the ball and creating chances that click up. Cresito wins the ball back. First thing he does, pops it towards the baller. Big moment. One on one. Baller. Finish. Oh, hit it across the keeper. Oh, what a moment. Cresito, first thing he did, wins the ball back. Three shots, three on target. Four shots, three on target. Unreal start. No goal. The ball all well class of him. All he had to do was place it in the back of the net. And he hasn't done it. 20 minutes in, still nil, nil. It depends on this game. Do we go out? Do we try and maybe get an away goal here? I'm very tempted to. But hopefully we can just do it from this corner. We're good from these. Jacob now. Ball in the box. Falls. It is. It's in. It's Tobias. It's 1-0. It's away lead for SFB. We lead in a quarter final for the first time, I believe, as well. I believe we're behind all, every time against Herbert Berlin. And then we led, obviously, in extra time. But I mean for the first time in the game. Uh, did we leave against Barcelona and then conceded two? Yeah, I, I scratched that. I think against Barcelona where we drew 2-2 and then drew new new in Spain. We led first. But there we are. Nothing that we haven't deserved. Eight shots, six on target, one new lead. And that's exactly where we need to be. Massive moment here. We're dominating the game as well. We've been the better side. And as it stands at the minute, it is one new SFB at half time. I'm absolutely delighted. Get into the second half and away we go. Johan's on for Petkovic. It's probably a very good change for them. Johan knows what he's doing. Cas um, Casa Grande out onto the left-hand side. Makes sense. Hopefully be all right. Apparently Carlos has pulled his hamstring, but he's okay. We'll, we'll monitor it. Anyway, Juve, since the change, have been a much the better team. We've kind of lacklustered a little bit. Just going to demand us a little bit more. We've not been at our best. But here we go. It's a corner again. Two set pieces. I'll take it. Jacob, another ball in the box. Looks for Carlos. Ball. Ren Sheng. Carlos. Ball. Oh, my God. How is that blocked? Get him off the park. It's highlights not over here. Get him off the park now. Ball has had too many clear cut chances. I'm actually going to go Ayala. Oh, I didn't put... What's his name on the bench? I didn't put fucking Richard on the bench. Fucking idiot. Yeah, just Ayala on then. That's fine. Ayala's on. That is fine. Nielsen's not in his bestie game, but I guess he can find me a goal. I want to put Dino into the middle of the park. Not just yet. We'll confirm one change. Ayala's got a little bit of speed on the break. It's a corner now for Juve. Ortiz, good ball in. Carlos heads away. Does that fall to us? Ayala off the bench. Fresh legs. Away he goes. Nielsen now. Ayala's inside of him. Back sticks on. Back sticks on. Nielsen goes himself. Selfish bastard. Another big moment goes begging for us. We're all over him, really. Nielsen for Dino will make that change too. We're going to leave one time-wasting change late doors. Time ticks away here. It's another corner. Been the better side. 2 new would be massive. Carlos. Jacob. Carlos. Beats his man, does he? Jacob's still there. Cuts it, Tobias blocked. There's another blocked highlight. It's got to be the highlight, isn't it? Yeah. Not long left. Lars is going to come in for Carlos as a time-wasting change. Oh, my God. Of course, there's a highlight here. Made a time-wasting change. Highlight. Oh, my God. Hey, oh, God. It's not there. Hopefully, it's a pointless highlight. Don't you dare be Juve scoring because I'm making a change. Dorado goes long. Can we win that, please? We don't. Johan Guerrier, oh, they're going to score because I'm making a fucking change. Ismail, ball in. 
It's not. It's Carlos. Jacob turn. Is this a pointless highlight? Is this a highlight? Carlos with dead legs. Going on the run. Ayala looking to stretch the game. Carlos still going. Tackle. Is this a pointless highlight, FM? I need to know. My nerves are jangling. Now down the line to Casca Grande. What is going on, football manager? This is a highlight for them. It's a highlight for Juve. It's a highlight for Juve. Jacob, what a tackle. is a highlight for us now. Carlos over the top. Ayala. Big speed. Beat him. Beat him. Hit it. Yes! And on the break, we hit Juve again, and it's 2-0 in Italy. Ayala off the bench. We bought in for this exact reason. Late doors, pacey hit man. Juve beat. It's 2-0. Yes, proceed with the change because of the time-wasting change. Time ticks away. We score in the 91st minute for a 2-0 win. And we take a 2-0 lead to Italy. To Italy, to, to Denmark. Huge. We beat Juve yet again. The tie ain't over. But the way we play and how defensively solid we've been, this could just be our time. We're going to finally make our first ever semi-final as a Danish side. Oh my God, Barcelona got beat too. Barcelona got beat on the other side of the draw. Valencia beat them over in at the new camp. Wowzers. What a moment. Big moment in the save. We beat Juve in Italy, and we are 90 minutes away from our first ever semi-final in the Champions League. And I'll see you guys in just a second, where we will go and hopefully hold on. And we will knock Juve out yet again, and we'll be in our first ever Champions League semi-final. Welcome back, YouTube. It is time. Is it time for SFB to put away the hoodoo of never making it past the quarterfinal of the Champions League? Or is it time for that run of bad luck to continue and for us to get probably absolutely done and knocked out from a very winnable position? Big note for me is we have five players out injured for this game. That is massive considering what we are trying to do. And hopefully we will be okay. Carlos out injured, four to nine days, little injury, but he's out, Alba comes in. We already know Ravel comes in on the other side, Alves and Molgaard make it in. Roberto's going to make his way in for the baller, I am however going to move Nilsson up top and move Roberto in there. Jacob in for Dino was always going to happen anyway. And Pedro Crescito makes it to the bench with Ronald's return. It's not the full strength SFB, but it's an SFB side that should be able to do the job. Alba can be a little bit suspect at the back, but he's very good on the ball. He reads the game very well, and I do have a lot of faith in him. Ravel has been meaning and waiting for this opportunity. I has been super fit, super consistent, and the Wonder Kid from Brazil has had many big bids that we have rejected for this moment, if this ever happened. Ronald back in the team. Jacob now apparently is apparently getting towards being world class, and you can see why. All right. Carlos and Tobias either side. Richard is a wonder kid with steeped in potential. Nielsen is up top and can do a job. The main reason, though, is I can move Nielsen back a line, and like I are the last game out, I can bring him off late into the game if needed and to go and get me a goal with. We do need. Pedro Cresido is a very good midfielder to have on the bench as well. Albert Lars Ayala. Alves, Mulgaard, and Sorensen on the bench. No yellow card dramas for us at the minute as well, which is really good to see. And all these guys that are injured should be back if we do make the semi-final. Important to note, though, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, important to note if we can go to the uh, Champions League screen, if it lets me, result-wise. Important to note, yesterday, City beat Salzburg 3-0, and Liverpool got through on the other side of the draw. The winner of this will be playing a star-studded Manchester City side. But we can't think about that yet. There's a game still to be played against a team called Juve. And they know exactly what they're doing and seeing what we can do. Apparently my internet's now having a shit fit as we're about to start the semi-final. That's not a good omen in the quarter-final. Until the boys have faith, hopefully we'll be all right. If the internet comes back, it's been doing that lately. It just has a moment and then just drops out. Odyssey's back into the team as well. Going to move these two onto the left. 
feel like apart from Odyssey at right back and Box come out the team, the rest of the team is actually the same. It is the same. Apart from that one change, it is the same team. We can do a job here. We can do a job. I am a little bit wary of what could happen. Hopefully it'll be all right. The net's just having an absolute moment, but that's okay. We'll get on with it. Let's just focus on this. It's going to be a very good match. Enjoy these matches a lot. Big match, you're right, but hopefully the players are up to it. This is Denmark, and we believe, baby. It is us in the white. It's Juve in the infamous black stripe because it's zebra. The white stripe with the black. For me, it's all about if we keep the ball, we keep defensively solid, we win this game. For Juve, they score before the first half. It's game on. And they probably need to score first, definitely. Odyssey on the ball. Suma, great player. Big switch of play. Bloom comes in, doesn't win it. Cascarande, Bloom wins it back. Alba, Jacob, Alba good on the ball. Renshane, back to our bad. That's fine, keep the ball. We're good with it at our feet. Ravel picks it up. He's good. The Brazilian's really good, usually. And he drives inside. Has options, needs a runner. Needs to find a pass now. Finds Ronald. Big moment. Ronald might go for goal. Looks for Nielsen. Does he get there? Mistake! Oh my God, Nielsen has missed from inside six yards and put us through. Nielsen with a massive moment from inside the six yard box to put us through has missed. Tobias though, back stick, cleared away by Doe. They're good on the break, but we've got to pick it up with Ronald. So good to have him there. Ren Sheng now. Back in the Ronald. Ball in. Nielsen, he's offside. He's missed from six yards and now he scores a goal in an offside position. As it stands though, we're still only 80 minutes away from the Champions League. Juve still need to. It's all okay. But man, could you imagine if one of these chances was onside or we finished? We're inside six yards, it would probably be game over. In the end, oh my God, he's onside, FM. He is onside, he's level. Football managers had a mare. All over him here in Denmark. Exactly where we need to be. Highlight again, Bloom. We need to make this pay. We need to make these chances pay, get a goal. Richard now, back to Jacob, good on the ball. Looks for Nielsen, great touch. Nielsen, what a touch. Finish, my boy. Blocked, falls back to him though, still has it. Carlos, Richard, oh, doesn't win it. And that's the highlight. Still 2-0. All, all, all SFB at the minute. You are having a little bit more of the ball, but playing right into our hands on the break. Playing right into the shape. And as it stands, still doing okay. Time ticking away here. We're the only team that looked like scoring at the minute. But that does not mean anything. Ball's headed away. Sander Bloom. Goals change games. A goal for Juve on the break would change this game massively. Goal for us to put us in a commanding position. Richard now. Carlos. Nielsen. Oh my God. He's a man firing blanks. Nielsen single-handedly could have had a hat-trick inside half an hour, inside 40 minutes, and put us through. As it stands, though, it is going to be probably nil-nil at halftime. It is. We're 45 minutes away from the second leg. Second leg. 45 minutes away from the Champions League. Highlight after it. Belozo, Jacob, with a ball in a Ravel, still with the ball inside, Ronald, Carlos, back heels, Sander Bloom, the captain, game over. We're going through to our first ever semi-final. Sander Bloom, the captain, big moment, comes the big man, a man Man United have, for whatever reason, let us have for like eight, nine seasons in a row, and he's back again next year on loan again, because did you expect anything else? Carlos engages the full back in one though. The back here was delightful. And Sander Bloom makes it one. Free on the night. And there we go. Time ticks away. You've yet to have a chance. We have been playing superbly well. Hopefully, we can just get one more just to celebrate. You've now had a chance, boo. But it is what it is. Time ticks away. Look, a goal for you that means. Things get a little bit interesting, but I'd rather us not concede. That would be fine. Ortiz, though. Jacob, what a tackle. Falls to Tobias. We're on the break here. Nielsen wants it. Nielsen gets it. No, ignored. And then he turns around to Ronald. Okay, restart. Ronald's ball. Nielsen's there. Dorado comes. What a save. He's had a magical game. Has the world-class goalkeeper in goal for Juve. And it's another missed chance for Nielsen. Richard's actually going to come off here. I'm going to move Nielsen back a line. Ayala's going to come in. We are going to go to that. One change in. Big crunching tackle by Navarro there. If it was a Jacob, would imagine this is a pointless highlight because it's from the corner and I'm making a change. But you never know. Ren Sheng, there we are, highlight. Nielsen moves back on line. Ayala, we scored the goal in the second goal in the first leg on the park. Ravel now, Nielsen. Back in the Jacob. Ball in, cleared away. Only fires Nielsen. 
Send the broom straight at Dorado. All over Juventus. Big moment. Highlight not over though. They go long. Alba wins. Ronald now. Nielsen beats one in the box. Fires wide. Nielsen's had an absolute stink. He's done everything right but finish. But it is 1 0 and all she wrote. Hopefully all she wrote anyway. Goal for them makes it interesting. Anyway, Ronald wins the ball, but only as far as Odyssey. And Bok. Ball through. Big moment. A bad with a world class save. Casa Grande is one of the best strikers in world football. Comes in from the inverted winger roll. And in the end, what a save from a bad to keep his clean sheet and at 3 0. Do remember, if you guys score three goals, we would be out on away goals. But the longer this game ticks, the better it is for us. Anyway, long ball. Ayala's on it. A bad could get an assist. Ayala, Dorado, what a save again. He has been fantastic, Dorado. It's not the first time he has FM'd us a little bit, this keeper. But mercifully, we are one new up on the night and three new up on aggregate. And it doesn't really matter too much at the minute. In the end, Carlos Nielsen, another save for the Juventus goalkeeper. He's had a stellar game, to be fair, Dorado. And in the end, that match rating should be a lot higher. Time is ticking away here. I'm very happy how things are going. Both wingers look a little bit gassed. Christopher on one side. Lars on the other. Hopefully, this is all she wrote. Throw in. Conto Lewis. Navarro. If we can just get through this highlight without conceding, I think we're home. Nielsen. Ayala. Hits it. Game over. What a finish. Sergio Ayala's been brought in. Just to be the super sub, the man off the bench, the man to provide a little bit of quality. Quality for the middle that Lars doesn't particularly give us off the bench. Wurtz used to, but obviously isn't good enough anymore in these bigger games. Ayala's come in from Spurs and he's been magical. And in this tie, it is proven the big money we spent to get him in here on a free in terms of contract has been magical. It's 4-0 on the Knights, 2-0 on aggregate. Sorry, it's 2-0 on aggregate. It's it's 2 0 here in Denmark, and it's 4 0 overall because we won 2 0 in Italy. There you go. We are going to be playing Manchester City in our first ever semi final in the Champions League. Juve beat, absolutely brilliant. The quality of depth has shone through, and we are through after beating Juve yet again. Is it our time? Is it our year? Hopefully, it will be. And hopefully, it will be okay. Valencia knocked out Barcelona. Oh, my days. Defending champions out. Valencia knocked out Barcelona. What's going on in Spain, then? Like, what's going on down there? Yeah, yeah. Wow, Valencia having a really good year, aren't they? Jeez. That's massive. Wow. So, on one side of the draw, it's Liverpool and it's Valencia. And on the other side of the draw, we have Manchester City in a massive game. Nielsen had so many key chances. He gets me in the match because he created a lot and had a lot of moments. But, man, this guy could have had four. And he's world-class. So uh, uh, That's what I don't get about this system. It was right there. We get world-class players in world-class positions. They all miss. I don't get it. But in the end, well done. Next time out, it'll be Man City in the semi-final of the Champions League. We are going to be potentially one tie away. 180 minutes, give or take extra time and penalties. God forbid it gets us to that from our first ever Champions League final. I've said all I wanted to do was to make it to the semi. We're there. We play Man City. And hopefully, fingers crossed, a little bit of luck, a little bit of hope, a little bit of belief, we may just make our first ever Champions League final. And I'll see you there. Like, subscribe, all the links down below. You know the drill. City, SFB, Champions League final awaits the winner. And I think it really could be us.